good morning everyone today we are going to do another salt this is a colorless salt it is soluble in water and amorphosed physical status amorphosed now we will do dilute sulfuric acid test first to take dry salt in a dry test tube then add dilute sulfuric acid there is no observation so all the radicals are absent in dilute sulfuric acid now we will do concentrated sulfuric acid test for concentrated sulfuric acid test again you take dry salt in a dry test tube then you put concentrated sulfuric acid and observe the test tube very carefully some observation is coming from here a very light pungent fumes is coming from the test tube if you get this type of observation then you dip a glass rod in ammonium hydroxide solution this is ammonium hydroxide then you place the glass rod on the mouth of the test tube and if, <coughs> if you get dense white fumes then it may be chloride this is the observation for chloride radical so our dry test for acid radical is completed in dilute sulfuric acid we got no observation and in concentrated sulfuric acid we got some observation for chloride radical when we added concentrated sulfuric acid in dry salt pungent fumes of hcl gas liberated from the test tube and when we place a glass rod deep in ammonium hydroxide solution then it gives dense white fumes of ammonium chloride so this is the observation for chloride radical now we are going to confirm it confirmatory test for chloride radical the silver nitrate test first you prepare salt solution dissolve it in water so this is salt solution this is transparent now you add silver nitrate solution after adding silver nitrate solution if you get white precipitate then it is the observation for chloride radical if you get pale yellow precipitate then it is the observation for bromide radical if you get fully yellow precipitate then it is the observation for iodide radical so we got white precipitate so this is the observation for chloride radical if the white precipitate is dissolved in ammonium hydroxide solution then it is chloride this is ammonium hydroxide we put here ammonium hydroxide now you see it is dissolved so it is confirmed that our acid radical is chloride now wait test for basic radical the group analysis since the salt is colorless so we have to start from group 0 prepare salt solution <coughs>
for group 0, group reagent is sodium hydroxide and Nessler's reagent. You take salt solution, then you add sodium hydroxide. then you add Nessler's reagent. After adding Nessler's reagent, if we get brown precipitate, only then group 0 is present. So, there is no brown precipitate from, so group 0 is. Now, test for group 1, again you take solve solution. Group reagent for group 1 is salt solution plus dilute HCl. This is dilute HCl. After adding dilute HCl, if you get white precipitate, then group 1 is present. In group 1, lead ion is present. So, no precipitate, group 1 absent, in the above solution I have passed H2S gas from Kipps apparatus and there is no precipitate, so group 2 is absent, in group 2 copper is present. Now test for group 3, for group 3 again you take salt solution. Group reagent for group 3 is ammonium hydroxide in presence of ammonium chloride. In group 3, always you add excess amount of ammonium chloride. This is ammonium chloride. If you do not add excess amount of ammonium chloride in group 3, then precipitate of group 4 will appear, group 4 or group 5 will appear in group 3. So, we should be very very careful. First you dissolve the ammonium chloride. Now you add ammonium hydroxide solution. If precipitate comes, then group 3 will be present. Now you see there is no precipitate. You see there is no precipitate. So again group 3 is absent. Now test for group 4 or group 5, first you take salt solution, then you add ammonium chloride, ammonium chloride. Now you write confirmatory test for group 5. For confirmatory test, you dissolve the white precipitate in dilute acetic acid, then you divide the solution in 3 test tubes. This is acetic acid. If you add acetic acid here, it will be dissolved. Now you see it is dissolving. The effervescence is of carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas is liberating from here. Now it is transparent.
and the height into three test tubes. Okay, this these are three test tubes. To the first test tube, you add potassium chromate solution. After adding potassium chromate, if you get yellow precipitate, only then barium ion is present. So this is not a precipitate. This is transparent. So this is not color is changed, but this is not precipitate. So no precipitate. Barium is absent. You. This is ammonium sulfate. After adding ammonium sulfate, if you get white precipitate, only then strontium is present. So no white precipitate is formed. Strontium is absent. Again, you take. the third test tube and here you add ammonium oxalate solution if white precipitate comes then calcium is present so you see we got white precipitate so calcium is present in our soil now we are going to perform flame test for group 5 this is the most important confirmatory test for group 5 for flame test you take a platinum loop this is platinum loop make a ring here in a watch glass you take concentrated HCl Then you dip the platinum loop in the HCl. Then you touch the salt with the loop and you place the loop in the flame. Now you see the brick red flame is observe flame test if you get apple green flame it is the observation for barium radical if you get crimson red flame then in, it is the observation from strontium radical if you get brick red flame this is the observation for calcium radical so here we got brick red flame so it is confirmed that our basic radical is calcium Thank you.